When you want to start automating the synchronization of local files up to an Amazon S3 bucket, you'll need to start getting familiar with the AWS command line interface. So to start, I'm going to list all of my available buckets. And as you can see, I've got two already. One of them was automatically created by Elastic Beanstalk, but the other one, techsnips-sync, is the one I'll be using for this demonstration. I'll also quickly check the contents of that bucket. This is more just to show that I don't currently have anything in there before we get on to the rest of this demonstration. So let's go ahead and copy a single file up there. Note that when I'm doing a single file, I need to use the copy or cp command rather than sync, and my destination needs to have a trailing slash on the end, otherwise the CLI tool might think that I wanted a file at the destination without a extension. This isn't too much of an issue when I'm saving to the root of my bucket, but if you were saving into a subfolder, then it would become more of an issue. So with my very important memo uploaded, let's move on to syncing. So I've got a directory of backups here, and I'm going to synchronize them with a subfolder on my bucket called backups. Note that rather than cp, I've this time specified sync. Alright, so that command's finished. Now it was probably sped up in the video, but that took only about 20 to 30 seconds, and I wanted to illustrate just how fast that was pushing through data up to AWS. So that directory had 1,120 files, totaling about 138 megabytes. So the synchronization is actually really quick. But let's start getting on to something a little bit more complex. So I've got a scripts directory, where I store a number of PS1 files, but I've accidentally stored a couple of TREC files from these TechSnips recordings. And I don't really want those synchronized to AWS. So ignoring the fact that this is a long command on multiple lines, notice that I'm using the S3 sync command again. My source is that scripts directory, and my target is my techsnip sync bucket, and I've specified the subdirectory of scripts. I've also included exclude and include options. So by default, everything in the directory is included. So there's no point having an include flag without also having an exclude flag. So what I've done here is I've excluded everything specified by a wildcard, and I've included just PS1 files. This means that nothing from this folder will be synchronized unless it has a PS1 extension. I'm also using the grants option here, and what I'm doing is allowing all users, i.e. anyone on the internet, read access to the files that I'm uploading here. So if I go ahead and run this, my PS1 files are uploaded, and we can check that by listing the contents of my scripts directory up in my S3 bucket, and note that the only files contained within that are PS1 files. So a synchronization means any new files are going to be synchronized up there, but what about if we delete a file? So I'll delete one of those PS1 scripts from my scripts directory, and then I'll invoke that expression again. But note that nothing's changed. That's because by default, the command line tools aren't going to delete anything in my bucket unless I explicitly tell it that's what I want to do. So I'm rerunning the same command as before, except on the last line, I'm using the delete option. So when I run this command now, I see that one file has been deleted, being the PS1 file that I deleted from my local directory. So let's go ahead and copy some other scripts into my scripts directory, and we'll rerun that long command again. And you can see that four new files have been uploaded to that directory on my S3 bucket. So just to wrap things up, let's have a look at the listing for all of my TechSnips sync bucket again. We can see my very important memo sitting there in the root, and we can see my two subfolders, backups and scripts. And if we have a look in scripts again, we can see all of my PS1 files, including the four that were added after the fact. So that's an introduction to synchronizing local files with an Amazon S3 bucket. Thanks for watching.